So welcome back to the uh, podcast episode with uh, with Hans. Thank you, Hans, for uh, another. I think this is going to be a good episode too. It's, this was interesting one that when you shared it with us in the class. Um, okay, I didn't realize. Well, I mean, I know how smart these dogs are, but this is a good story, guys. So listen in on on this one. It's about you can go about the title of this. Maybe the what what we titled this. Uh, don't, don't get angry, I yeah. guess. Yeah, don't, don't get, angry. get angry around your dog. Or your personal protection dog. Or really any or dog. Or any dog. Yeah, but. yeah what, what happens, uh, uh, the dogs, uh, <clears throat> they read you, and uh, if you are angry at somebody else and yelling at them, maybe your wife or husband or somebody on the phone, yeah. they think you're yelling at them. Right? It happened to me. I had this dog named Ciro Dormina. I loved that dog. And I was outside with him. And I was on the phone and somebody pissed me off. This is like 30 years ago. Yeah. And, uh, and I started yelling at him, right? And the dog thought I'm yelling at him. Uh -huh. I didn't realize that and back then. Eventually, it all clicked together. And that's what I'm talking about now. And uh, then... I had a bunch of dogs, so <laughs> yeah. I, I, I didn't miss him for a little while, right? And so I go in the house, I had like 16 dogs. Wow. And uh, my neighbor calls me and says, are you missing your dog? And I said, uh, let me look. <laughs> <laughs> and sure enough, so I go to, you know, he was kind of across the street, a little down kitty corner. And... Um, and sure enough, Cyril hiding under his porch. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what the heck happened, right? I thought, what's, it was a very outgoing, tough dog protection, mm -hmm. you know, and all that. And uh, I, I really didn't understand that back then. I'm going to be banging that microphone. Um, it looks good. Okay. Yeah. And uh, so, so, you know, but it, it stuck in my memory. Mm hmm but I didn't draw any conclusion at that time because I really didn't understand what's going on. You know, this, right. is, this is like, as I said, like 30 years ago. Yeah. And, um, and then I sold a dog to a police department. And uh, <clears throat> way across the country. And uh, good dog. I really like the dog and all that. And they like the dog. And I went there with the dog, deliver him, gave them handlers, scores, dog did great, everything was perfect, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, and uh, then they had a call, and this cop went, and uh, there was some bad guy out there in a parking lot <clears throat> in some school area. And uh, so he got out of the car, you know, and the guy attacked him. You know the bad guy mm -hmm. attack him, and he 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 had like this um, this fisticuff with this guy, right? And he needed a dog, so he hid his yep. thing here, which opened the door in his car, and the dog ran out to help him, and he started yelling at the guy something, and the dog made U turn and hid under the school bus, mm. and they called me, you know, like I said. The heck, right? And if somebody start clicking with what happened with Ciro, you know, and uh, and so I went there, but it still didn't click hundred percent. I said, I can't believe it that this dog would just run away. And he did. He didn't really <clears throat> run away from the situation. He ran away, obviously, from this guy yelling at the bad guy, mm -hmm. right? It's like me yelling at the yeah. guy on the phone, right? Yeah, and. Um, and uh, <clears throat> so, so what happened? What happened there? So I went with them for lunch with the cops there and all that. And this guy started telling me how he's going through divorce and how he argued with his wife and all that. And he was also pretty rigid with the dog, pretty hard. Uh -huh. So the dog put that, you know. And I was pretty hard sometimes with Ciro, you know. Got angry when he did something stupid, and you know I would feel anger in me mm -hmm. same way I felt anger against that guy on the phone yeah. right so I basically trained the dog that when I'm inadvertently that when I'm angry 
um, I'm angry at him. I mean, at the dog. Yeah. Right. The dog made that connection. Yeah. And um, and so so then you know I saw the guy working with the dog, and you know the cop working with the dog, and he was pretty kind, and he got really easily angry. You know, he was uh -huh. kind of choleric. You know. Uh huh. And uh, and so I uh, and, and and it clicked, man, right there in my head, you know. And that's what you get with people who train dogs for a long time, you know. These little things you would never realize on your own, you know, <clears throat> the experiences. And so, so what's happening is if you ever get angry at the dog, you know, you have like an anger in your heart yeah. because he did something wrong. Yeah. That's you. You gotta stop. You cannot. You cannot uh, use your anger against your dog ever. Because then, if you are angry at somebody else, the dog may fail you, like that dog failed yeah. that cop. Does it make sense? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, because the dog uh, reads. You know, like I don't know, Cyril may have done something. I said, "Ah, you!" Son, I was saying I was pissed because he destroyed my shoe or something. Yeah. I don't know, you know. Yeah. So I got angry. I don't. I didn't do anything to him. I was just angry, and the dog uh, kind of see me angry, and they don't like your, you know, me to be angry, you know, because yeah. they love me and they don't understand. But they they heard that voice, that tone over the voice, yeah. you know, and. Uh, they they know it's negative. It's not a yeah. And they heard you know. they felt my attitude from the tone of my voice. Yeah. And if I if you then express so now you have a dog protection dog, which is perfectly trained. And in training you don't get angry, right? Yeah. So you don't see this happen. Yeah. Right. And but but then if you are on the street like a police officer, and for some reason you know you can see the videos. You know the guys get. The yeah. cops get, you know, all perturbed sometimes, you know, call, call the bad guy son of a bitch, you know, yeah. get down on their knees. <laughs> yeah. And they may have a good reason for it, I'm yeah. not saying, yeah. okay? Yeah. But but the point is that uh, if you have a uh, anger in your heart, and you, uh, during the time you had anger in your heart, you, correct, you were correcting the dog. That's why when I see people doing obedience, for example, mm -hmm. And, uh, and they want to correct the dog. Yeah, correct the dog. That's fine. But don't be angry. Yeah. You can be hard, but don't be angry. Yeah. You know? You can't say, fuck, I hate you. You know? Yeah. Stupid dog. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And dogs hear those words. Yeah. And then you have a bad guy say, he says, says, get on your knees, you stupid son of a bitch. Right? And the dog hears that. Yeah. And they think you are yelling at them. And they'll shut down. You know, they're supposed to go and protect you, and they will shut down. Yeah, because they hear the... Right, so so the moral of the story from this is that you should never be angry with your dog, which is tough sometimes, you know. Oh, yeah, they do you things know? that, yeah. You know, and uh, then if you are angry at a bad guy the dog doesn't see it there you know as no. you know like there's a, there's no connection yeah right yeah but if you ever angry at the dog even once yeah. even once the dog will remember it and then when they hear you being angry at somebody at the phone they'll take it personally because they don't understand that you're angry at somebody else yeah so the point is never be angry at the dog when you're training, if you're angry at the dog and you feel it, you gotta have the discipline to stop mm -hmm. and put the dog up and sit down and have a coffee. And if you smoke, get a cigarette, you know, and take at least 20 minutes. Cool down. At least. Yeah. Maybe an hour or two is better before you do anything else. Yeah. Right? And that way, you don't install into the dog that when you are angry, you are angry at him. Because, yeah, if you are angry at the bad guy because he just shot at you, yeah. being a cop, yeah. right? That's normal, right? I understand yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But the dog doesn't see the association mm -hmm. from your anger that you would be angry at him. Yeah. You know, so, so I remember that video once, uh, some guy, some cop... Uh, was correcting dog and somebody made a video from the window. I mean, you may have seen it. The guy got fired, I think. The cop did. 
and he was really angry at the dog, hung him up and yell at him and all that. Mm-hmm. And then I've seen another video, the cop hit the dog and yell at him, you stupid yeah. son of a bitch, because he broke stay or some shit. You know? yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and if you do that, now I, you know, nobody ever accused me that I would be too soft on the dogs. But there's a difference between being hard with your yeah. corrections and being angry. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah, you can be yeah, you can be stern to a child, but don't be angry. You know, don't be angry, yeah. You know, and uh, and so so that's that's like uh, one of the when you train when you train protection dog or any dog in that matter. You know, imagine you were angry at the dog, right? It, this is I'm going to describe a situation which has nothing to do with protection, right? And uh, and you, you do obedience and you're angry during obedience. Come, hey, sit down for it. And you get mad, you know? Yeah. Like you remember this this one guy, and don't, don't, I'm not going to say dog or name. Like last week, he got angry at his dog, and that's what prompted this. Yeah. yeah. And I said, don't get angry yeah. at that dog. Oh, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And, and you do obedience. Now imagine you're outside somewhere in the woods with that dog, and that dog is. Uh, gonna decide to chase a squirrel or a rabbit mm-hmm. and and he uh, Far, come here, blah, blah. and the dog will not want to come yeah because he see you being angry and last time you were angry at him you kicked the dog or did something stupid yeah you know yeah so he doesn't want to come yeah you know so so this is what I'm saying by this this is applicable to any kind of training yeah. you know uh, protection your life may depend on it. Yeah, that's that's yeah. the only reason I said it right in the beginning because it's since the show is a lot about personal protection dogs. But as you said, it's a applicable any to kind of training. Yeah. You cannot get you, yeah. you just just never get re- uh, angry at the dog. I always tell people, you know, why the dog screwed up because you didn't teach him better. So if you get ever angry about the dog screwing up, you get angry at yourself. Mm-hmm. But don't be angry at the dog. Yeah. The dog only knows what you teach him, yeah. or what its instincts are telling him. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, he knows better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I do? I tell people like that. I said, "Usmiya sereshti idiota." Uh, oh, what did you say? And I said, "You don't know. How come? You should know better." Yeah. You know, he doesn't. You speak language. Yeah. You know. I said, you're pissing me off, you idiot. And I said, I didn't check sure. just now, right? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, you cannot assume yeah. that the dog somehow will know. Yeah, you have to teach the dog. You know? One of the five things that we will do in the, maybe another podcast episode, but the five steps of dog training, which yeah. is kind of, Relating to that eventually. Yeah, learning, learning. Teach, teaching, teaching, you know, conditioning. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, practicing. Yeah. yeah, we should do that one sometimes too. Yeah. But, uh, but that's, uh, you know, th- this is a very, very, very important thing. You may not hear anywhere else. Or people will say don't get angry at the dog, but they really don't draw the consequences, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, who, First of all, it's not fair to the dog, and we want to be fair, but that's the least of your problem. The biggest problem is when the dog fails you when he needs to protect you because yeah. you're angry at the bad guy and he thinks the dog thinks you're angry at him. Yeah, when uh, yeah, the officer's life was endangered, so yeah. that, that dog needed And that. we mimicked the scenario, uh, you know, in the uh-huh. police department, yeah. and the dog did great. Mm-hmm. You know, he did everything, same location, same mm-hmm. everything, car. Mm-hmm. Strange decoy, so the dog didn't know the person, yeah. and the dog did great. And and then I, then 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 I then I said to the cop, I said, now be now 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 start angrily yelling at this decoy, and the dog stopped. And did you turn and run back in his car? Did he realize what you were saying? Like, the- well, he uh, was too proud, you know, so he didn't want to realize it. Okay. But he, but that's a yeah. different story, yeah. you know. Yeah. Uh, Eventually, hopefully, he did. But I took the dog away from him. Yeah. I, I gave him different. I gave them different dog then, okay. you know, because uh, once the dog is in this type of uh, state of mind, you cannot get. You cannot fix it. Mm-hmm. You know, you yeah. cannot fix it. 
once this stupid thing like that is there, yeah. it becomes a default, yeah. and um, and that's it. And that's that's so you can't fix it. Yeah, and in your experience, uh, the best thing to do is take the dog back, and and you, you yeah to, to explain to the guy, don't yeah. do this shit ever again, right? Yeah. You know, yeah. and but it's hard. You gotta have the discipline, you know. And then the other thing about this is, um, so you never get angry at the dog, right? In everyday life, so he doesn't have that association, right? That you're angry yeah. at him yeah. when you are angry. And uh, you may be angry at your wife or bad guy or somebody driving car funny, you know? And the dog say, always think it's them, you know? Like, I mean, I, you know, you can notice, like, you, I was driving, you know, and we zero in back of my truck, and I said, you know, and there was somebody cut me off. Said, ah, that son of a bitch. And I, could, and I look in my rear view mirror and dog did like this, you know? Uh -huh. Put his head down. Like, he was scared, you know, yeah. that, that he thought I'm telling, he did something wrong, yeah. poor guy, you know? Yeah. It's just I almost tears in my eyes. Yeah, that's what the dogs teach us, right? The, right. The, the it shows it's like a mirror, right? Right. In a way, right. Of our, so what? Yeah. What? what yeah. But you can use the, yeah. the 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 anger type thing to your benefit too. Okay, so so you never anger at the dog, and when you're training the dog, you always act as good as you can when you're when you're angry at the bad guy. Yeah, and that way the dog will. Associate the protection situation, like yeah. thinking, "Oh, that's a bad guy." Yeah, right. I know you tell um, people in training that you know when you say "pozor" or "alert," whatever they want to use. Yeah, like, say are. it like 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 someone's really attacking yeah, you. Yeah, people not, like, people will say yeah. "pozor," you know, like, "pozor, fifi." No, like, <laughs> no, you got it. "pozor." Yeah, you know, yeah. act it up, yeah. right, a little bit, and. Um, you know, yeah. I mean, and you, 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 the, somebody just drove off the road right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the thing is, you know, uh, it's very hard to mimic the real scenario yeah. uh, attitude you will have in, re in, in training. When somebody hits you over the, you know, with a, with a stick or throw a rock at you or shoot at you, it's hard to mimic that type of a scenario in every day in, in training. Yeah. You had us like uh, put the dog in our shoulder, do push-ups, like certain things. Yeah, you can, you can, you, you can, like you know, I'd make people run and with well, the well, dog, and you know, and and then I'm, you know, and I want the, dec you know, and people say you're so hard at the handler, and that's the reason I want them to be, you know, I, w I, I prefer they hate me during that moment, <laughs> at least, at least uh, not yeah. not before or after, but <laughs> during that scenario, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you've been there, but I even put some. Uh, handlers electric shock I, I missed that week <laughs> <laughs> like i knew i, yeah. I wasn't there but i hey, knew in utah yeah. or something yeah yeah i put a i put an electric <laughs> shock car or their biceps and randomly zap them yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah that tyler would go with his dog from a car <laughs> 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 it comes sweating bullets man. yeah but you know what yeah. that's the uh yeah. that's a real thing yeah, it's you like know? your 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 judo sensei. Yeah, uh, hitting me with a uh, with the kokoro with a yeah. with that uh, uh, stick. Bam, uh, rattan stick. Rattan stick. So if you guys didn't listen to that podcast episode, I'm not sure if we have it out yet, but it's, it was a good one. He was sharing his story. Oh yeah, but, did I already talk about it? Yeah, you talked about it. So we'll, uh, I don't know which. Yeah, that was uh, he. Uh, he would uh, when, when we were practicing randori, meaning you know like a training. F f combat and yeah. uh, and you know you were so exhausted the training you know with the, here in America the training is an hour usually when you go somewhere doing karate or judo or something we did always two hours you know and uh, the you felt like like you're gonna die you know yeah. I mean you were so exhausted right. you, you said this is it man I'm, not, <laughs> I'm surely gonna die now in the next five seconds and and uh, Kazik, you know, our, our, our sensei, he would come and hit the rattan stick and he would yeah. sneak up from behind us and, yeah. and hit us over the back with Wham. a bamboo stick, man, yeah. so hard. Yeah. It's just like, it, it was the, like on scale from one to 10 pain, it was 10 plus. It was yeah. just so painful. Yeah. But you start suddenly, you know, you start 
you start going again, you know, and uh, you realize he always, and, and then he would say, he would hit us like, Kokoro! which means like spirit or yeah. heart or fire, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he would always say, you see, when you think you're totally exhausted, you're exactly in the middle of your strength. Yeah. That's what he always said, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. true. True. But that's a different story. But since you touched on it, that's why I brought yeah, it up. I don't know many uh, dog trainers out there. That, <laughs> um, I mean, Hans puts us through, you know, as, as real as, you know, there's situations. Uh, yeah, but that's things. nothing it's compared nothing. to... nothing, I know. But <laughs> it, yeah, but... He, he, would, he would go, no. you know, he, he, he would go camping and all we had was thin blanket. It was cold, yeah. man. Yeah. And we would be too tired and sleeping, and he would sneak up around us and hit us with that fucking bamboo stick when we were sleeping. Wow. Yep. And uh, yeah. and you would say, "Oh, that's horrible!" You know, he would be in prison here. <laughs> and uh, and back then, you know, after but I tell you, after he did it for a week, he couldn't sneak up on us anymore when we were mm -hmm. sleeping. You know, that's what it was all about. Yeah. Yeah. You know. But, uh, but I, what I was just trying to say when we do training with Hans, I mean, he, you know, it's, uh, how, we're, it's, we're not, you're not there when you come to train with Hans as a feel good, like, you're gonna, he's going to make you feel all the fuzzy. <laughs> it's, but, but he, he wants the best for you and your dog. And that's the reality. And uh, yeah, it's not pet smart tra yeah, training where. Yeah. You know, touchy feely yeah. and fuzzy and treats and all that crap. Yeah, you know, so, it's a real shit. Yeah, at least I'm trying to do it. I yeah. would really like to do more, but I don't have the setup for it. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. Like, you know, but but what I did, I used to go to Sheep's Bridge. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know where well, it is? Yeah, I've never been out there, but yeah, I yeah, you should yeah. go, man. It's cool. Yeah. And it's a it's a bridge for sheep, you know, across the river, Abafria, I think, river. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty high, I don't know, yeah, 150 yeah. feet above the, yeah. so you look down. And the bridge is narrow, I don't know, eight feet. Yeah. And you have these planks, and there's a space you can see mm -hmm. down. And I would take dog on it and do obedience on it. I was just terrified, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to do it, man, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a reason for that too. We yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's another yeah. that's another workout. That's it doubles two stresses. Two stresses Training yeah. through two stresses. Yeah. No, this was really good. I it's a um, just a something to think about as a as a dog handler. Or yeah, con dog conclude handler. I, I will refine all this into one or two sentences or so just just never have an anger in your heart against the dog. Yeah. You know? Period. 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 That's it. Never. It will backfire on you or it may backfire on you. You know, when you need him the most.